So my initial thoughts when the vegetables uh, were mysteriously being eaten, I was very upset at first. So the eating from the garden went on for about a few weeks before I set up the camera and I discovered it was a groundhog that was eating from the garden. I was kind of shocked that it was a groundhog. I was expecting it to be a deer or, you know, even a human. <laughs> Chunk first brought nibbles in season one, and then, you know, they both went into hibernation together. But when they woke up in the spring, babies popped out. So I thought to stop the groundhogs, I would give them their own garden thinking that if I gave them their own garden, they would leave my garden alone. Um, well, that wasn't the case, I found out. Even giving the groundhogs their own garden, it helped in a sense, but they would still find a way into my garden, which I'm fine with. I do not interact with the groundhogs at all. Um, in fact, as soon as I come out and they see me, they run. Obviously, I gave Chunk his name because he would leave chunks of the vegetables move on to the next one, take another chunk, then it'd move on to the next one, take another chunk. However, when Chunk brought Nibbles, I pulled the Instagram audience. The fans voted, and Nibbles was the name. So this is the chunk set up for them to come out of hibernation. You can see we have some apples here, some carrots, and we also have some seed and nuts for the birds, and for the chunks too, because they enjoy that too. We have a heated water bowl here, so that they can have some nice... Uh, drinks without you know it freezing over on them and here is the setup so far you can see that we've rototilled the garden got it ready to the far left is my personal garden and as you get to the right here this is their garden right now it's covered with snow so it's hard to see but you can look here and you can see this is their winter setup but like I said it's a frozen tundra out here but come on chunks wake up so I do hope that they will continue to come back um, to the garden, you know, for the foreseeable future. Um, I built this place for them. It's a safe haven for them. You know, they can come here, they can feel safe, they can eat, fill up their bellies, go home into their dens, you know, have a nice sleep. It's gonna be a little bit of a mystery um, if uh, Chip, Chibbles, or Nugget come back because what usually happens with groundhogs is the parents raise them for about three months and then they kick them out they find their own place it's about 70 feet away but um you know they develop their own family there this whole experience has made me feel uh, more aware i would say to uh, coexisting with wildlife you know when i first saw the groundhogs um eating from the garden my first instinct was to you know relocate the animal but you know as time went on you know i said you know this is their land too you know just provide for them and, and and let them feed you're just trying to survive so if i could do that that's great. So I think in the end, the most I've learned from it is uh, coexisting with wildlife. <laughs>